today um, we're going to do lesson number two grade eight um, term two um, here we're going to revise certain concepts um, so this is your caps link um, and then you have your dictionary now the dictionary you can go through um, and revise some of the concepts um, then first the it's time for the learners then um, to do their mental mathematics. Remember, mental mathematics does not only include your times tables, but it includes all other types of work that children have done before. Um, so I want you to pause at this moment and the learners need to answer this orally or write it down. I'm going to reveal the answers then. Um, and then you can pause and you can mark it. So let's then go to the lesson. So let's start with this fun activity where you then in pairs going to create a secret code. So each of these alphabetical um, letters represents then a number. So in groups or by yourself, you then go and create a message that you then going to give to your um, friend, your parent, or in school context to the group next to you to solve. Um, the learners need to solve this in one minute. Pause the activity now. Welcome back. I hope you really enjoyed this activity. So let's quickly look at this first example. Um, so the first, what we're going to look at is 7 times B. Now, 7 times B, we can also write it as 7B. So when you see something stand 7B, it means the same as 7 times B. Let's go to example number 2. We're going to look at number sequences again, so we can understand what the N or the N term stands for. So I'm going to give you this example first. So this is where we got the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth, and the nth term. So let's quickly see. The first term is 4. So I can write 4 times 1, or I can write 4 to the power of 1 equals to 4. So let's go to the next one. The second term equals to 16. So how do I get that 16? 16 is 4 times 4. Or we can write it as 4 squared, and the answer is 16. Then we go to the third one. The third one is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the power of 3 equals to 64. Then we're going to go to the fourth term. That's 256. And we notice that is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And that's 4 to the power of 4, and the answer is 256. Then, um, the 5th and the 10th one, you can just work out for fun, but we can see here a clear pattern. That 4 to the power of 1, 4 squared, 4 to the power of 3, 4 to the power of 4. So what will my nth pattern be? My nth pattern will be then 4 to the power of in. I want to pause, you want to pause here, and then you need to explain this to your friend, your family me member, um, or to your teacher in the classroom. So what I want you to do now is you need to write um, down examples. So um, I'm just going to do the first one with you, or the first and the second. Uh, so we're going to say nine more than a certain number. So nine more, so more means plus. So nine plus a certain number. Certain number, we don't know what's that certain number. So it must be a variable. So nine plus x. Um, and we can also write it x plus nine um, because of the commutative property of it. Um, the next one, 9 less than a certain number. So the certain number is x or 9 less than a certain number. So we go to say 9 minus x. C, a certain number less 9. So now what we have is we have x 
minus 9. I want you to write down the answers of A, B and C, pause it and then compare it and compare it to the words that you used. Things like more than, less than, um, where you have certain number at the end of the sentence and where you have certain number at the beginning of a sentence. Good luck by completing the rest of the question. Then what you're going to do is you can work through example two again and you're going to answer these questions. Then you can go to the problem solving and see if you can solve it. Remember to use your distributive property. And um, this is some revision. Um, then your extra activity you can complete. And then we come to the consolidation where if you yes, you answered yes on everything, you're going to carry on with the next activity. If you have no's, you need to revise, revisit that question or you need to contact us at SA Teacher.